The Witcher's contact in Velen was to be Hendrik, the Emperor's spy. Hendrik was operating incognito in that war-ravaged land. His mission, to gather intelligence about Ciri. Yet Geralt arrived too late. The wild hunt had reached Hendrik first. The Witcher learned nothing from the spy's corpse, but the wraiths had failed to find his notes. Geralt read them and knew that Ciri had been a guest of the Bloody Baron, a local warlord, and that she'd quarreled with a witch. Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNut and welcome back to The Witcher 3. Last time I ended it rather teasingly uh, whilst entering the hut of the witch we found. And she appears to have disappeared. Now, let's see what we can find in here. Now, where she went off to? So there seems to be a pentagram on the floor. There are also a few other hmm. clues. Managed to amass quite a book collection. Thank you, Geralt. Anything else? In the room? So there's this hatch. A letter to Alexander. Let's check that out. Darling, I'm writing because you must be worried that I'm still angry. Silly man, you know full well I never hold a grudge long. I forgive you. It's all because of that secretiveness of yours. Is it so strange for me to take an interest in your plague research? I adore watching you at work in your tower. Please, if you still refuse to discuss the results of your experiments with me, at least don't deny me that small pleasure. If Zeralt doesn't need you tomorrow evening, come see me. We'll clear everything up over a glass of wine. Or two. Or more. Your K. So K must be the sorceress we found here, or haven't found yet. So there's this hot tub here. Though it doesn't seem like she uses that a lot, judging by the cobwebs. Uh, could enter this, but that seems to be an entry point. Does that warp me anywhere? Oh no, okay. So let's check out the basement as well for some quick looting. Ooh, a repair kit. So that's that. There's another bag here. Silver. Hanged man's venom. That's interesting. That's the poison for humans. So that gives me a bonus damage against humans. Maybe I should check if I can... Uh, Immediately slap that on. And bowl is useless. And dwarven spirit. So let's check out alchemy for the hanged man's venom. Oh yes. Okay, so 10% attack power versus humans and non-humans. Just dog tallow and Ariana Arinaria. Okay, there we have it. Nice boost for when we get to the bigger cities. But for now, let's head back up and examine the rest of this place. Don't often see bubbles like this in Velen. And then a skull. Powerful aura. Must be some artifact or... Oh! So this is where she disappeared to. A portal. And Geralt, as you might know, is not really fond of portals, but hey. And well, where well. Nice. are we now? An underground cave with bunnies. Bunnies I can't kill. Or should I, was I say? Wondering how long it would take you, Geralt. I'm upstairs. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. So K stands for Kira Metz, which is the lovely blonde sorceress we've been seeing. Greetings, Witcher. Cover your eyes, boys. Missed a spot. Hmm. Where? Who 
hope you didn't come to gawk. No, to talk. And a bit to gawk. Turn around and wait. But well, now we should turn around. <laughs> oh, Geralt, you naughty boy. So yeah, this is gonna be an 18 plus episode. And just like that, Kira she's dressed again. in the heart of Velen. Thought you hated the countryside. I can assure you I do. Now more than ever. Heard a witch lived out here. Never would have guessed it was King Foltest's former advisor. I'm so pleased the world's still able to astound you, Geralt. I actually envy you that sense of wonder. Common in children, knights errant, and morons. Oh, thank you. Mm, someone's grown irritable. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I believe I greeted you with a pleasant view. That now you did. Now tell me what brings you here. Hmm, let's pry a bit first. So, bet you saw this question coming. What are you doing here? Let me think. Enjoying the country air? Admiring the unspoilt scenery? Or is it furthering the age-old alliance between the city and its breadbasket? No. I'm in hiding, Geralt. Blind to the state of the world? Don't you see what's happening? You mean the persecution mages now face? Yes, that's exactly what I mean. Radovid's new pastime. Pursuing anyone with a whiff of magic about them. Witch hunters. Sound familiar? Murderers scouring the north from end to end. Burning books, hanging soothsayers, torturing herbalists. Yeah, we knew that. So how's it feel to be the village witch? Ah, horrid. Yeah, no we know that. Having the boundless respect and trust of the local peasantry. <laughs> They'd respect anyone who could produce hemorrhoid cream. Been here a while, haven't you? Long enough for rot to set in. You cannot possibly imagine how much I detest this place. Hmm. Why Valen specifically, then? Pick the strange place to hide. I didn't pick anything. In the north, Radovid's men hunt sorceresses like fish in a barrel. Nilfgaard controls the south. Where was I to flee? Emperor does keep mages on a short leash, but he lets them live and ply their trade. Radovid and Emma differ in every respect except one. They share a deep hatred of the Lodge of Sorceresses. And I was a member. Well, that doesn't seem to be a problem for Yennefer, but back to the topic at hand. Changing the subject. So, do you know anything about the other sorceresses from the Lodge? Any news of your sisters from the Lodge? None. We can't know too much about one another these days. It's safer that way. Even tried to contact one another? I've wanted to many times. But I've no way of knowing who would answer. Or who might be listening. That dress is ridiculous, but... Okay, focusing. Looking for a certain young woman. I'm looking for a certain young woman. Ooh, she knows. Oh, really? Who? Oh, no, you know. Apparently she quarreled with the local witch. <laughs> Someone's been feeding you horseshit. The girls around here are too stupid to quarrel with me. Oh, come on, She's you're from here. giving me horseshit. You're up to something, Geralt. If I'm to help you, you must tell me what's going on. Who are you looking for? Who do you think? Siri. Siri? Well, now I understand the secrecy. Not to mention the brooding, the furled brow. And do you say she had some sort of problem with a witch? So you haven't seen her? I'm certain I haven't. But recently someone asked me about an ashen-haired woman. He claimed she would stand out from the peasant crowd. Hmm. Who was that? Who was it? <laughs> Not so fast, Geralt. No humble plea. No offering for the witch. Seriously? <laughs> Let's settle on gratitude instead of the dozen eggs. My undying gratitude. Good enough. It's nothing to sneeze at. But you've a knack for getting into trouble. I should probably ask for something more immediately deliverable. 
Oh, chicken bow wow. Oh, sod it. Don't give me that look. I know it's Siri we're talking about. It was an elf, this individual who asked about Cyrilla. No flea bitten Scoyatel slob either, but an elven mage. The Scoyatel are uh, a rebel group consisting mostly of elves and dwarves and other outcasts, so. What was he doing here? What was an elven mage doing in Velen? Well, I tried to ask him, of course, about everything. Of course. Oh, but you know how elves are. He asked many more questions than he answered. Sounds about right. He say what his name was? He didn't. And he wore a mask. Very secretive all around, but I liked him. He was intelligent and composed. He say what he wanted with Siri. Only that they were to meet in Velen. He wished to know if she'd arrived before he did. Hmm. That's a weird way of asking that question. He leave any message for her? No, but he asked that were I to meet her, I should lead her to him. So you know where to find him? Yes, he said he found a hideout in some elven ruins near the village of Midcops. I'll go there with you. Oh, why? Okay. Think I'll have trouble finding this place? I've unfinished business with this elf. He promised me something, but he never delivered it. Besides, <laughs> I know you think as I do that she might be there. Bunny sex. And I'd like to see Cyrilla too. I don't really trust her, but yeah, let's go. Let's go then. Yes, let's. So this will end one part of the quest and start the next one. And which will automatically go to this the cave the she was talking about. Been here before? No. I was hoping the elf would return as he'd promised or else his waif would appear. At any rate, I've no idea what to expect from this place. Well, let's find out. Well, I must say I don't know what a waif is. Come on. So always prepare with Quen. Gavella Glan. Oh. Hello, good person. You seem to be dead. And now Kira is glowing, positively glowing. Another chest. Bounty Hunter's Gambeson. Plus four armor. Okay. So that Gambeson is better than what I was currently wearing. When already wore off. And I think it automatically breaks when you enter a cutscene. Yeah, there it goes. I felt the shaking of the controller. Oh. The Wild Hunt. What? Phantom Riders? That means... I thought they didn't exist. Feast your eyes on the non-existent then. Well, well. Got a navigator with them. Uh, what? Can you teleport us to the other side? I'd rather teleport us home. Do you really mean to follow them? Teleport. Hurry up. I'm I've always sure found it a bit strange things. how Kira is so ignorant about the wild hunt while a lot of other people know about them. And that sounds like drowners. So, your first instinct would be to follow her immediately, but that would leave us in the middle of a couple of drowners, probably causing us to lose Here. that fight. So now we can use our Witcher senses to go and find Kira. The marker says that away, but the Witcher senses aren't doing anything. And I do want to take care of those drowners first. So the, the green gas is flammable. Okay. Okay, that was a bit tougher than expected, but... 
So yeah, treat drowners not to be trifled with. So the green gas you can ignite with Igni to do a bit more damage than you would normally do. And that also works in your favor by disposing of the gas, allowing you free passage. So you might have already noticed that you can use your uh, your signs relatively a lot when you're not in combat. And there's a secret room here. So allowing you to blast, ignite, etc. your way through this place. Oh, foglets! So foglets can disappear. Like that. And they can make a duplicate of themselves. And that gives us another blue mutagen. I'm gonna take another swallow. Let's see what else there is to find in this cave. And then if everything is safe, I'll probably try and meditate here. It's a pretty empty chest. Yeah, I'm gonna check this place out. Because maybe I can find some stuff here. Decision bolts. So this feels like a trap. Using Quen. And then looting the hunter trousers. Okay. That seemed okay with everybody. Okay, so that just takes me around. And pretty close to that fourth drowner. And I don't want to take fall damage because this is a big thing in The Witcher. You can't drop from really high without actually taking quite a bit of fall damage. And the hunting trousers are a lot better than the ones I'm wearing. So let the drowner burn a bit. And there we go. Easy work of that. You can also blow the, the smoke away with art, so that's maybe a bit safer if you don't want to ignite everything. Let's check if this place has anything else to offer. Oh, well, just as I was going to save, there's a water hag. <coughs> so I'm gonna recast Quen just in case. So, as long as you keep your distance, like, not like that, she should be quite manageable. Okay, that's a good one. And there she goes. A bit bloody. A large bloody spot in the water. And a lot of loot for us. But not that much damage taken actually. So that's the water hag. First one we've encountered I think. And there's deer. And there's the red pulse coming from uh, 
Kira's voice. And there's also this way. I'm gonna check out this way first. Kira can handle herself, so... Oh! Not too fast. Thank you. So this tunnel to the east, what does this... Give me... More dried fruit. Handy in this difficulty. Another foglet, apparently. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I'm stuck. So even if they're invisible, they can still be hit. And they're quite aggressive. Can burn them to a crisp and then a heavy attack. Or two, and that's over with. So, mutagens. And further into the cave, we find more mushrooms. A lot of mushrooms, actually. Geralt! What? Do I have any Samoom left? Use a sign that performs anything! Stay calm. They're only rats. I hate rats! Rats! So yeah, Kira has a bit of a rat problem. Ah! They're incredibly annoying to hit though. I wonder if I can... Seriously, I'm stunned by a rat. The Great Witcher Geralt is stunned by a rat. So this kind of heals me now. I'm gonna abuse the rats for a second. To heal me. Disgusting. Thank you. You that afraid of rats? Could have annihilated them with one spell. Fine, won't say anything. So what happened to you? There's something here. Something that distorts teleportation. I've no idea how they managed to get to the other side problem free. Wild Hunt's teleportation magic is different. Got specially trained mages for that. Navigators, they call them. They can have three helmsmen and a parrot for all I care. I'll not risk that again. Let's go. Wild Hunt got a good head start on us, but we still stand a chance. Have you gone completely mad? We must leave here at once. Are you scared, Kira? I gotta know what the Wild Hunt's doing here. But we came to find the Elven Mage, not fight the Hunt. If they reach him first, we won't get a chance to talk to him. Besides... Go on. Finish. Wait... You've got some special interest in the hunt. Is this about Siri? There's something you've not told me, isn't there? Come with yeah. me. Yeah. A deer with his sword. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Deer hunting. Okay. Never mind. So now that Kira is free from her little rat problem, let's go uh, and continue exploring these elven ruins. Though I would prefer her to. Oh. That's him! That's the elf! What was that? An illusion? No. 
A morphotic projection. A what? A what projection? Something akin to a post box for mages. Much safer than an ordinary That's letter, fucking which dear. anyone can intercept en route to its recipient. Okay. Message was definitely for Siri, daughter of the Gull, Laura Doran's heir. Indeed. It is what the elves would title Siri. But what was the bit about the sign of her sword? A riddle? Yeah, not a hard one, though. Not if you know Siri named her sword Tzideo. Swallow. Come now. Who aside from you would know that? Might have been the point. Your elven mage secured the passage, hid it, so that only Siri could find it. He failed to foresee that someone like you would show up. Nevertheless, I think he was expecting uninvited guests. Made some preparations. Let's hope the Wild Hunt ran into some obstacles. Yeah, well, let's. Well then, let's go. Do you think following the Swallows will suffice? We'll see. So we should follow the Swallows. Not that we have seen any. Get the fucking mushrooms. I okay. hope we haven't lost our way. No, we haven't. We haven't even seen anything yet. An old elm port. Must have been how they got here by sea. I wonder how long ago that was. Okay, so there's definitely Wraith. Or Wraith. I don't know how you. That oily yellow vapor. It's toxic. I hardly need instruction from you. I recognized the Vulpine Morel immediately. Oh, As sorry, Missy. Soon after he'd learned to cast Igni, he tried it out on a patch of these mushrooms. Terrible idea. What happened? Well, he survived. And wounds heal awfully quick on young witchers. Come on. So Pura also knows what's up, so uh... <laughs> Oh, why did, why are you not getting your sword out? So the wraiths are pretty harmless here. Mostly they're uh, confused by what Kira's doing to them. So I think there's at least three that spawn here. There's the other one. As long as she takes care of one and I the other, I think she should be fine. Not like that, though. Yeah. Not like that. Okay, that will make it easier. Another one spawned apparently, so I was mistaken. Will not be the first time. So keep an eye out for those clouds, as they can do a bit of damage. There, there's a fourth one. Okay. And that's number four. So we got a few options here again. There's a large white sign at the end of the tunnel there. So that's probably where we need to go eventually. Seems we're headed the right way. Where? Oh, there. Okay. So this is the right way, so maybe I should see what the rest of the cave is all about first. So that's a kraken. Refreshing. So I'm gonna check out this place into a separate cave. With a body of the former soldier. I'm gonna recast Quen because I know I'm gonna get ambushed. So there's one. So 
So that's two Wraith. So again, same tactic. Put an Earden sign down and slash away. So there's the second batch. down so my armor is a bit damaged right now and there goes the last one so I do need to check if I have any repair kits oh even better, I found better gear on that body in the middle here, so problem solved. Looks a bit ridiculous, but I'm gonna take what I can get. So my swords are still in pretty good condition for now. So yeah, that's that. And we got some pretty good gear out of that as well. Worth the risk. So, back to Kira. So let's follow the swallow symbols deeper into the cave. Oh god, come on Geralt. I know you're a bit clumsy, but... Oh, another swallow. And another message apparently. Rather similar to that other pillar with the projection. Sirel, ni for the sol eser. Sirel, ni for the sol eser. Hail Sila Kelpi. Kelpi? Does he mean that sea monster? No, that's what Siri named her mare. Horse could apparently gallop like a demon. Hmm, good name for a horse. So, should we look for it? 